This episode of See Tolly Run is brought to you by FitSock, the nationwide Children's Hospital Columbus Marathon and MTech results. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olympian Carrie Tellison, and today I'm interviewing world champion triathlete Gwen Jorgensen. So let's get after it. Being a triathlete, being a world champion triathlete, can you talk about how you got started in the sport and how you got to be the best in the world this year? Uh, yeah, I grew up swimming. That was my passion when I was younger, and then I ran a tiny bit in high school. I did uh, three seasons of track, no cross country, and then I went to the University of Wisconsin. I actually went there with the intention to swim all my years, uh, but ended up swimming only three years and then switched over to cross country and track. And then USA Triathlon contacted me and said, we think you'd be good at triathlon and told me to try it out. So that's kind of how I got into triathlon. And that was like four years ago. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that you got into triathlon. Yeah, I did my first, that was in like 2000. They contacted me in 2009. I didn't start doing triathlon until 2010. You know, you really excelled really fast. And 2012, you did well. 2013, you were USA's triathlon of the year, triathlete of the year. How do you get your mind wrapped around being the best in the world right now? I mean, I don't know if you can until you, you know, do it again, hopefully next year. <laughs> yeah, you know, you. I don't really think you can, you know, you just go out there and you race and you're doing the best you can and it's weird, you know, you go out to a race that's just a small race and there's local people there and then you go out to a world championship and it feels the same, like you're just racing, there's just more people there, so it is hard to kind of think about. So you competed in the 2012 Olympics, had kind of a, a rough day there, talk about that and how you overcame that. Yeah, um, you know, I qualified for the Olympics in 2011, one year after doing triathlon, so that was kind of a shock as well. <laughs> Um, and I was still very inconsistent at the time, like two races earlier, I didn't even finish a race and it was just kind of up and down. Uh, after I qualified though, I really focused on the 2012 Olympics and wanting to do well. I got there, um, had a flat tire, kind of put me out of the, the race and I wasn't going to win anyway on that day, but it just really gave me, I think, the motivation to take the next step in, in my career. So being that runner now that I am and that you are, when you get off the bike and a lot of times you're not necessarily in first. I mean, you come off the swim, you, or come out of the swim, come off the bike. How do you, for my running fans, how do you mentally prepare yourself to be able to pick people off and to stay focused for the first, you know, one, two K or first, you know, quarter of the race where you know you got to catch people? How do you get your mind wrapped around that? Yeah, you know, I think I'm happy when I get to the run because I know. Um, I think nothing wrong can happen except for my body physically can fail. You know, I'm not going to get a flat tire. I'm not going to crash. I'm not going to, like, there's all these elements that I know I'm just running. Um, and so that gives me a little bit of just freeing motivation. But, you know, I love running and it's just, I start running and I really try not to. I think a lot of girls in our sport in triathlon, they go out really, really fast and they die. Mm -hmm. Like, by minutes difference yeah. for the first half and the second half and I really just try to negative split almost just at least keep it even paced. Were you scared to start cycling when that is you know maybe the not that it's it's a bad part of your triathlon but it's it's one of the the three disciplines that you're not as used to I guess. Yeah you know it's something I'm still improving on and still working on when I first started. Wow <laughs> that is scary that you're still improving on yeah. it. Um, it's just you know, when I first started, I was falling over at stop signs every day. In 2010, I'd just ride a little bit and fall over because I couldn't unclip. And, you know, obviously I'm past that point, but there's still skills and stuff that I'm working on. It helps that um, my soon-to-be husband uh, used to be a professional cyclist. I'm now training in a daily performance environment where every day I'm riding with my peers, and that just kind of helps. And, you know, I see my peers doing something, and I think, okay, if they can do it, I have to do it. Yeah. So talk a little bit about what's happening in 2015. We know the wedding's coming up, yep. but anything else fun? Um, yeah, you know, I think uh, racing-wise, uh, this next year will be a qualifying year for the 2016 Olympics. So just kind of focus on that, hopefully qualify that for that. Um, besides that, this year we started, Patrick and I started a scholarship for youth junior triathletes and we're really excited about that and the deadline is November 1st and so we're really hoping to get some more applicants and you know it started out as 
$5,000 and all of a sudden with sponsors we have $20,000 so awesome. it's really exciting and we really hope we can just give back to the com community in that way. So here's our rapid fire questions Gwen and these are hard you might have to think hard about these and hopefully Patrick doesn't care if I ask something <laughs> about him but okay so here we go cooking in or eating out? Cooking in. Ponytail or bun? Mm, ponytail. Okay. Bun huggers like you used to wear on the track yep. or bikini bottoms? Bikini bottoms. Okay. Chocolate or coffee? Both. I don't. <laughs> That's too hard. Chocolate, probably. Okay. St. <laughs> Paul River Road or Minneapolis River Road? Mm, St. Paul. Ah. Track or cross country? Cross country. Pool or lake? Lake. Australia or Spain? Oh, that one's hard. She trains in both. I know. Mmm. I like the people in Australia because I can speak English to them, but Spain is better for training, I think. Okay, you can like them both. I'll give it to you. Pedicure or manicure? Pedicure. Okay. You have toenails? I know, right? <gasps> nice. <laughs> Trails or roads? Trails. Okay. Oatmeal or eggs? Oh, that this one's too hard. Yeah. Because she likes both. I would have to say oatmeal. Okay. Threshold workouts or VO2 max workouts? Threshold. Yeah. VO2 max. Kind of hard. hard. <laughs> Iron Man or Marathon? Marathon. Have you done a marathon? No. Didn't think so. Okay, so you want to do just straight marathon. Yeah. Hmm. Helmet or swim cap? Hmm. That one's hard. I know. I mean, I don't even know how to compare them. <laughs> um, helmet. Okay, you like to be on the bike. <laughs> Now, last one, Wisconsin or Minnesota? Wisconsin. Okay, we'll give it to you. She was born and raised there. All right, well, congratulations on everything. Thank Thanks. you for letting us get to know you. And maybe later in the season, you can take me through a triathlon workout. Yeah. Do a brick, is that what it's called? Yes, exactly. I know the words. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for my interview with Gwen Jorgensen. Get after it. Looking for more fitness fun? Check out ctollyrun.com for training tips, event highlight videos, and interviews with elite athletes. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to get after it.